Hello, welcome back to the, oh, you're over there. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, so yesterday I picked up this Electrolux Turbo 2 Super. Um, I paid 10 pounds for it, 10 British pounds. So even if it doesn't work, you know, I'm not gonna die in a ditch over it. But I thought in this video, we'd have a look at it, see if it works, and if it does, fix it up. So let's crack on. realized the other day that uh, I haven't got a video of one of these on the channel which kind of surprised me because these were really common cleaners and I suspect to be honest with you it's their commonness <laughs> yeah um, that uh, that probably has stopped me from like having one in the collection I guess but uh, I realized to my shock that when I looked at the serial number on this particular cleaner it's from 1991 so it's over 30 years old. I mean, come on, if it's 30, then it certainly um, deserves a place in the collection, surely. So this is model 1070 uh, from the 24th week of 1991. Uh, these were quite popular cleaners. You, you, you used to see them quite often. They were the budget machines of that time. The, they, they were the early 90s budget cleaners. By the time 1991 rolled round, um, you had on the, on, on the market uh, the Contour, which was the like, premium line, the Glider, which was the medium line, and then obviously Lux needed something for the lower budget line, so they, they came up with the Turbo 2 Super. This one's quite unusual, I think, uh, and I, I, I could be completely wrong. I think this is, this is an early one, obviously, because it's from 91, but you can tell that it's an early one because it's got a piston star bag full um, indicator here. I, I think, and I could be completely wrong, you, I know you guys will tell me if, if I'm wrong, I know you will. I think the later ones either didn't have any method of showing the bag was full, or they had an indicator lamp on the top panel here. One of those two, I can't really re remember, it's, it's been a very long time. So let's plug this in, see what happens. Uh, I'm not expecting it to be working straight off the bat. I expect it to run because it's a it's a Lux and they are pretty hardy. So if I give it a good fingering, I can uh, I can feel the, the suction there, but it's obviously blocked at, at this point. So where the lower hose runs down through, um, it's blocked up, and I think it needs a new belt as well because I think this belt is pretty. Oh god, yeah, look how slack that is. Look how slack out is that that belt is. I think that definitely needs changing. So let's start taking it apart, and then we'll have a look. I think we're going to need some new filters. I know I have, look, right here, look, look at that. It's almost as if it was set up, but it wasn't. There's a, a lower cage filter that goes down there. Uh, we might have to clean off the um, the other filter that's in there. I don't think I've got one. I will have a look through my filters and stuff. I might have a flexible filter, like a cloth filter, I suppose. No, it's not cloth, it's just like a normal filter, isn't it? What am I saying? I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying now. It's ridiculous. I need to stop making these videos, honestly. I just sound like a fool. Anyway, oh, that's what I was going to do. Oh, my life and time. Oh, oh. there's moths. <laughs> there's moths in there. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> right. Hang on. Just let me stop this and turn you around. Right. I've got you, I've got you in my hand. Right, we can have a quick look in here. You ready? Oh, there's creepy crawlies and crawlies and creepies. Oh, something's been, look, 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 look at them moving. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, well, that wasn't expected. Oh, I don't want to take that apart in the house. Um, What I might do, guys, is uh, I'm <laughs> take this outside and just take that bag out. So I'm going to do that now. Um, and then I'll be back. Oh, that's horrible. 
Well, that was fun. Um, so yeah, I just took it out to the backyard to get rid of the bag. The bag itself was solid. It was solidly full right up to the top. And there was those funny little moth things living in it, <laughs> obviously set up home at some point in the past. And uh, yeah, a couple of them flew, flew away. But I really didn't want to do that in the house. That was, uh, ooh, that was horrible. I hate it when you find creepy crawlies in vacuum cleaners. So really the first thing we should do is clean out this dust box because it definitely needs it. Well, here's the view inside the dust box. As you can see, it's all a bit manky and horrible in there. We do have both the filters, which is good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take all this out and then we will give them a clean. Well, that's not looking half as bad as it was. Yeah, that's looking pretty reasonable. There's still a little bit of dirt and stuff just left uh, along the sides, but I'll dig those out later. But uh, God, that is much better. There's nothing living in it now. Let's have a look at the filters. Yeah, it's not very pleasant, is it? So we can see like the carapaces, I think. Is that, is that, is that the word, the carapaces? Of the little moths that have been living in here. And you see the build up there on the on the top filter, there's a ridge where the uh, the bag slide was sat in. So the bag slide was sat like that in it. And you see just how thick the dust that is. I think we'll just give this a clean up. We'll replace this one. That can go in to be washed and used again. We'll give this one a vac off um, and reuse it. So let's do that now. Right, that one can go in the wash pile. We'll use this one and this one together. How does it go like that? Or oh, like that? I can I can never remember. I think it goes like that. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, so yeah, those are the filters we'll put back in. So um, I'll pop those back in now, and then we'll start to have a look and see why it's got no suction underneath. I found this uh, genuine. 500 series dust bag. So that's good. Let's pop that in Give that a few turns. I pop the filters in now, so they are in place. So let's pop the bag in. Always use your finger to open the hole. There we go. Let's bring you up here. I'm just going to hold you and then you can see, there you go, the filters are in. I've cleaned this up as well. Not down there. I will do that in a second. I've just given this a bit of a wipe just to get rid of the eggs. So uh, nothing else hatches in the machine. So let's pop that in. I'll just give this a little wipe over and then we will start to have a look underneath. There's a label here on the back. Um, supplied and serviced by the Washvac Centre, telephone 0272 613 155. So this must have gone in for work before 93 because uh, in 93 we got a one in the area code. So if this, if this was post 93, it would be 01272. So I wonder where that is. Perhaps I could look it up. I might have a try later. I did notice as well that this like handle piece at the back was loose. So I've just tightened these two screws up and that's now perfectly back in place. So it's uh, good to go. Right, now let's take a look underneath. Well, God alone knows what we're gonna find under here. Probably a bloody spider farm. Um, 
So let's whip this panel off. I think it's just gonna be blocked up. So if we wiggle that, oh, oh good Lord. Should be able to get this out. Yeah, there we go. So that's the base plate free. And is that blocked up? Oh yeah, yeah, it is. That's really quite blocked up. Look down there. Ooh, manky. So that's why we've got no suction at, at the base, because that is completely and utterly blocked. And oh my god, check out the belt as well. Look at the chunks missing from the belt. Yeah, definitely needs a new belt. That's uh, pretty serious. I'm just wondering if this hose is all right as well. I think it is. Oh no, maybe not. We might need to do a bit of a bodge up on this lower hose. But we'll have a look at that in a sec. Let's just clean it up a second, because it is so dirty. Let's take the brush roll out. And we can see how bad that belt is. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell, look at all this wrap around this. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's a hard life, isn't it? Can I get my finger in? Oh, it's tricky. There we go. Right, let's check this belt out. Um, yeah, I think that belt's knackered. I don't know about you, but I'm going to say that is one very knackered belt. So we'll pop that in the bin. And we'll find a new one. Just a little bit more dirt down there. Look. I think this has done some work, this one, you know. So, I wonder now, can we... Uh, oh, everything's falling off. Can we get rid of this? It's cotton. It's like brown cotton. Wrapped around the brush roll. Let's just get that off. We don't want to leave that on there, do we? There we are, that's better. Wow, that's a lot of cotton. I can actually stitch up me. Well, well, no, I could darn my socks with that. Just run the knife along there, get rid of all this. All right, get the lever again. I'm going to spend hours on this one. The brush roll bearings are pretty good. Oh, that one's a bit tight. God, look at the filth. Can you see the filth on that? Jeez. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's done some work, this one. Let's pop some oil on these bearings. Oh, God, that's really tight. Oh, lucky I did that. That was really, really tight. There we are. That's freed up now. Good. Yeah, that's better. That's a million times better. Do this one. Put that oil in. Let's get this end cap out. That's better, isn't it? We've got a spinny brush roll now. That's not going to overheat and uh, melt the body. That's good. Now, what we need to do next is just unblock this, which should be relatively easy. So we're going to put the machine like that for a second. So we need a screwdriver. We just need to push through, just push through, push through. You know you can do it if you push through. And then we just get, ooh, 
pull the crap out this end. There we go. And that should be clear. Yes, I think it is. That's good. What have we got here? Oh, it's just bits of fluff. Oh, no, there's a twisty tie. There we go. That's what did it. A twisty tie. Yeah, don't don't suck those up because that will uh, definitely block your vacuum cleaner. Oh, I can't get to the pedal now. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, I think we should have a complete transformation on how well this vacuum cleaner works after we've done all this. Now, how am I going to show you this? Mm, mm, this is a bit tricky. I'm going to have to hold you. Sorry. So look, come around here. See that cover? There's a hose there, and that's the lower hose. And I think that lower hose has got some holes in it. So I'm just going to whip that out, and we will have a look at it. Here's the hose taking out the machine. Let's just clean it up a little bit. And unfortunately, you can see it is actually failing. It's got holes in it, uh, which is uh, unfortunate to say the least, because there's no way on God's green earth I'm going to be able to get an another one of these. So. It's a question of cheating now, I'm afraid. So we need to cheat and we're going to wrap it in insulation tape. So I'm just going to do that and I'll show you the result. Ta-da! There's our bodge fix. So that's about as good as it's going to get, to be honest with you, because I've got, as I say, I've got no chance of getting a new one of these. Um, not that I would be particularly over bothered about getting a new one, to be honest with you. It's not like a classic machine that I'm going to keep forever. Hold on, it's me, so I probably will keep it forever um so yeah let's get this back in the machine and um get the base back together right got the belt on got the brush roll back in this actually feels really good so i'm just going to give this a quick quick spritz just a quick rub because it is really quite manky i'm trying to go over the top of it i'll clean it up properly later There we go. Right, let's get the base plate back on. Slide that back in there. There we go. I've never ever bothered to change these um, cable ties on these. They just seems to like sit back in there really nicely. So I never really bothered with it. God, the brush wall is really dirty as well. Look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a really good clean at some point. Not today though. Not today. I've already restored a turbo power. This is a bonus. There we go. Let's give the brush roll a turn, make sure that's okay. Yeah, right, okay, let's get everything back up on the bench properly and then we will give it a try. Well, that should be everything done. Will it work? Yeah, it'll work. But how will it sound? Let's, let's find out. <laughs> That's interesting. Even with a, a fresh bag in there, we get half a red, uh, half a red signal on our beep beep dust box. Um, beep beep. Shut up, bloody people. God, uh, I'm looking for, for my brush. Where's my brush gone? There it is. Yeah, that's pretty Well done. Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> say that's working a million times better with a fresh dust bag and uh, a new belt the eviction of the family of moths that had been residing in it for quite some time I'm surprised they didn't have squatters rights but um, there's still time for me to be sued by the insect people I suppose but uh, yeah that's much much better really pleased with that 10 pounds 10 pounds awesome 
Yeah, really good. Pleased with it. It's a nice find, actually. I'm glad I've got one of these. Ooh, that grommet feels a bit funny. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give it a clean, give it a really good scrub, make it all nice. Uh, there is one thing I noticed, you guys may have seen as well, but the hubcaps are missing from the wheels, sadly. It seems to be a very common theme with these cleaners, that they have their hubcaps missing. I don't know why, but both of them on this cleaner, uh, I don't know. But yeah, okay, so need to give it a clean, which I'll do off camera, uh, and then in the follow-up video, we'll actually give it a run and see how it performs. Pretty damn good, I should think. But yeah, there we go. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to do the usual commenting, subscribing and liking. And I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye.